But let me get to the gym. I've been sitting on them. I plan on doing something crazy. I've been sitting on them. I got a Vince Carter autograph. feeling today my man i'm chilling sunday uh i didn't have to work today <laughs> uh but we still getting money yeah speaking of work you know we work together yeah. well y'all don't know we work together we work together and shit which is pretty dope yeah it's good to see young creators around memphis you know actually have an opportunity to you know do things and linger and like kick it together at you know Facts. workplaces because i used to work at a place where uh it was kind of divided, and then coming to work with y'all and shit, that shit, y'all folks cool as hell, bro. Yeah, it's always a, uh, it's a cool situation when yeah. you know like-minded people can work together, yeah. and it may not be on a, uh, on a, on the terms that they want it to be. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's just as long as we get money together, mm -hmm. like as long as we doing positive shit. Yeah, it's a one. You for know, sure, for sure. But we ain't here to talk about nine to fives today. We just here to really get to know my guy, uh, David Bishop Yates. Yes, sir. Whatever y'all may know him as, I know him as Bishop. <laughs> so, like, my man's, what, what inspired the name Bishop for you? Um, Bishop actually comes from, uh, shit, comes from uh, high school, bro. Yeah. Uh, high school. Like, one of the homies, actually, you walk her here he, on IG, he funny as hell. Okay. Nigga been funny. Had to follow all the time, yeah. forever. Um, but he gave me the nickname, like, mm -hmm. uh, coming from a private school to a public school came from Bishop Byrne or some peace motherfucking Bishop Byrne <laughs> uh, I'm still sad about that <laughs> uh, but coming from private school to a public school you know he, he made the joke like one day a nigga was hooping like mm. he was like we don't fuck with niggas from Bishop Byrne type mm. shit he was like we don't fuck with niggas from Bishop Byrne so every time like we would hoop and shit too he used to be like Bishop Bishop <laughs> like just trying to make fun and shit like that just on some light shit but it stuck from there. Mm -hmm. Took it back to Bishop Burn and shit like that. And it just rocked that way. Also, you know, I love the movie Juice. Mm -hmm. Like, that's Tupac went crazy as far as his role. For and sure. he took his role a little bit too serious, mm -hmm. damn near. Mm -hmm. But it was so visually, like, just kind of shocking and jarring. Mm -hmm. I just fuck with the Bishop moniker. Like, I fuck with that. Like, I'm not, I ain't, I ain't gonna double cross my niggas. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you gotta go crazy to, to uh, to figure out if you got the juice or not. Oh, that's real, bro. I never looked at the story that way. So, for you to say that, it's kind of open my. I need to go watch Juice again, goddamn. Right, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's dope, though. Yeah. It's almost like the. Uh, it's almost like. I mean, of course, it's more explicitly like okay. Tupac Bishop was the bad dude in the movie, mm -hmm. but it's almost like that Killmonger situation. You know, what I'm saying? Yeah, was he yeah, truly? Yeah. Was he truly bad? Mm -hmm. You know, was he truly? Like what he believed in, mm -hmm. that's what he was gonna ride for. Yeah. May it be to that, to that, to that. It's that last ride, you know. But that's real, bro. Yeah. And I feel like a lot of niggas in Memphis they got that mentality, and so they're kind of like the same thing coming from Memphis, you know, trying to come up in a city where it's like a doggy world, Man. which is which is you know a good thing to me personally because I feel like we can survive anywhere. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's without a doubt, shit. man. We built we built for the for the for the. For the fight, we built for the weather, we built for the for the culture. Yeah. Like Memphis <laughs> can sit in on anything. Yeah. We we deserve a t a seat at anybody table. You True. know what I'm saying? We can hold our own too. We ain't gonna we might not have the, the, the nicest fork, we not might have the nicest plate, but we gonna eat for sure. For anywhere sure. we go. And that's crazy because I was talking to this lady I met today, like I was telling you, she from Jersey and shit. She was just so like overwhelmed by how beautiful Memphis is and I'm like damn I'd be sitting here saying like I want to leave this whole yeah, sometimes yeah, yeah. is it's Memphis like, beautiful though yeah it's bro it's, it's very beautiful bro like okay uh, and what and what and what's it bro it's just she said the people here are just so like genuine and I was okay. just like okay that's I can definitely see that. true I see that and then she was like y'all museums like the history of Memphis itself is just like I don't know you feel the energy when you come to this hole. and I was just like bro I never really thought about that way because you Facts. know we grow up here and it's, you know, now I have a different perspective on Memphis when I step outside now, right. so for sure. Right, it yeah, was, it's 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 crazy when you, you hear observations of somewhere yes, right. that you've lived your whole life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Coming from outside, like, just people like, yo, what the, like, 
man, this shit, this Memphis, we mm-hmm. in Memphis right now. Maybe good stereotypes or bad stereotypes. Yeah. You really can't control that. But it's just crazy to hear how a person not from Memphis thinks. I know, Me- bro. How it, Memphis it is. blows your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives you a new love for your city, bro. Yeah. And it's, it's and I should say it's never like it's never it's always the good way. It's yeah. never like it's never like oh man, Memphis wasn't even. Yes, bro. You know like what I'm they always come back to the yeah. show. It's yeah, like yeah, every yeah, year yeah, people yeah. come back to. The, I'm like, what? Where are y'all going? Yeah. I'm not going. But it's it's really we just overlook that shit. But you know, Memphis is a city that's up and coming. We got Tay Keith, Key Glock, Block Boy, crazy. Yo Gotti. I seen Block Block was at the job yesterday. Oh, for real? Yeah, he was at the job yesterday. That's crazy, bro. Yeah, it's just show you that people are humans like us too, though. Facts. So I fuck yeah. with that, but um, you know. We making moves and honestly, fashion sense wise, I think Memphis is well on its way to be talked about around the world with the people like uh, you, for instance. You got Archive. Yeah, yeah. I got I got Phenom. We got um, Christopher McKinney. He does his own thing. Yeah. Demi Black Designs. Facts. Uh, D Blaze. Shout out D Blaze. There you go, bro. We got so many people around. Sumo. Don't forget Sumo. We got female. Sumo. Yeah. Female yes. artists too out here, bro. Really making moves. Um, and, um, I just want you to dive into like archive and okay, like that sure. overall mind state when you made that because that shit is crazy. Um, man, archive is just honestly day to day. Like archive is really just day to day, like representation, representation of mm. fucking day to day everything. Like we've been doing, I do it with um the homie Luther, uh, Lou Pop, mm. my best friend, like dead ass, mm. um. And we've been really just doing this for a long time, but now we wanted to make it into a brand. We wanted yeah. to make it to like a company. Right. And doing this is just mixing old nostalgic pieces, old nostalgic like fonts or nostalgic logos or silhouettes and things like that, and just reintroducing them in a modern and ten times more artistic way. Yeah. Um, like I like to mix in with like uh, this is an old T, right? Mm. I got on right now I mean by some standards mm. but this is an older Supreme yeah. tease piece and niggas wouldn't even know yeah. yeah and this is a newer uh, palace pant mm. so it's like alright I'm mixing the old with the new it's always backwards and mm. forwards with us um, and we're archive we just try to give that avenue and outlook on you know what was going on back then mm. but just with a new twist you'll see new like materials you see I, I do the installations with the cages and things like that which yeah. has nothing to do with anything in the 90s or whatever like mm. that but I'm throwing that 90s apparel piece on top of something mm. I'm uh you know displaying these 1994 fucking bread fours yeah. that I'm gonna show them hoes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that are cracking that are just dying yeah. but you gotta show that to yeah. you know uh, that shit lies. I don't know if they can see that shit. They probably really, yeah, can't. But, probably can't, but they're, over, they're over there. Yeah. They're definitely over there. Uh, just the cane. I'm really. hoes older than me type shit. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so with just archive, we try to do that. And then we try to just put out our own flair too, our own merchandise. Like mm. we did the Movers T last time, um, just paying homage just to like the grind of like not moving per se, but just. The whole thing where you gotta go through hella <laughs> shit just to get your vintage, just to make your house look the way it needs. Yeah, to Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah. Like a lot of stuff in here is old. A lot of stuff yeah. is new. Uh, it's just all about, you know, just paying homage to that. And um, it's hard, bro. Yes, and the website doing pretty well. We had a pop up shop yeah. in Urban Outfitters. Hey, I missed. It, man. Went crazy. Yeah, we actually uh sold a thousand dollars in six hours. Mm. So we did very very well. Mm-hmm. Um. And I'm proud of that. Like I'm super proud. Of, I'm super super proud about how many people came out and how many people yeah. did like. Uh, they just showed love too. Mm-hmm. Like it was just it was man. I got emotional man. It was like a lot of love, and I just want to keep that going. Like I got to keep that going. It ain't time. it ain't nothing like seeing something that you dreamed of and it's like right there in your face. It's like, so crazy. Yeah. I I wouldn't say it's what I dreamed of. Mm-hmm. Is what I knew was gonna happen. There you go. Yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yeah, I'm exactly. not like everything I'm doing right now is literally just like I fuck with that. I'm com- like I'm I'm literally like working on a collection right now mm-hmm. and it's just literally coming up to, off the top of my head. I see motherfuckers running. Yeah, we're doing archive athletics next, <laughs> by the way. Promotion. But, um, <laughs> I just been in the gym and yeah. I just been seeing motherfuckers running and I've been seeing like You sure been in the gym, bruh. Like 
inspiration comes from everyday life. Like niggas don't even facts, know. Facts, facts. They don't exactly. even know that. Like exactly. niggas be like, bro, I'm not inspired. It's yeah. like, what did you do today? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's why you gotta ask niggas. Exactly. Like, Your bed you? can't inspire you unless Fam, you, nigga. unless you like trying to have better fucking thread count in your sheets. <laughs> but um Yeah, so it's just so I'm like, yo, why don't I just make some fucking clothes that I can wear to the gym? Bro, why, 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 why can I make some fucking tights that I'm tired of seeing like all these females just wearing the little shorts, yeah. little tights, and they put that with every outfit. Don't have no flair, nothing mm-hmm. like that. And we just want to put a little flair on it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do uh, a towel, and um, we're gonna do some sweats for the guys and the girls too. Uh, I already did some for the girls, so I gotta make some for. Oh right, yeah, I saw them joints. I'm yeah, just like, yeah. That's the one. QP was like, "Can I rock them hoes?" Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can rock them hoes too yeah, small. Yeah, QP. Yeah. Right, yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, just for the it. just for the ladies, and mm-hmm. a lot of you know, it's been good reception as far as and I and I dye them joints myself, mm-hmm. uh, and I curate like all most of everything, and then Lou, like he's the business side of the corporation. There you go. Like I do the correct uh, credit direction, and Lou does the business side. Mm-hmm. Lou thinks like two three years ahead like mm. dude is always on top of as far as like what we need to do what we trying to do i i have a hard time with that shit yeah I, like i as i'm more creative I'm, this yeah, yeah. understandable you like bro i'm trying to like do this shit right now and, yeah like, facts this shit right now like, facts yeah. facts it's like and i'm like oh shit i might be confused yeah uh about truly what i want to do next but there go your boy uh, yeah oh shit